Hi, Bern Hasecker here, and today I want to talk to you about a recent announcement that Google made last week about SSL certificates and site security. Basically, uh, they had released an article last week uh, indicating that all websites that are not using an SSL certificate will, by the month of July of this year, will start showing a uh, not secure message in the browser. Now, we kind of already knew that Google was going this direction. Um, it's something that they've been uh, kind of prepping everybody for for a while. They, they've been showing more and more, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, more and more uh, warnings um, in, the, in their browser, the Chrome browser, uh, over time. And I'll kind of show you some of those warnings that are happening now and what the new warnings are going to look like. And you're probably wondering, well, why is Google doing this? And the, the main goal for them is to make the web, make the internet more secure. Uh, that's their end goal. So they're kind of forcing this issue. Um, if you remember a couple of years back, um, 2015, Google had that push to make all websites mobile responsive or mobile friendly. Uh, they dubbed it the uh, mobile geddon um, in the news <laughs> because everyone was paranoid and panicked that, oh my gosh, our websites aren't going to work on Google anymore because unless we hurry and make our websites uh, mobile friendly. Uh, well, it was kind of a bully push by Google, yes, um, but in the end it did make things better. Um, if you're using a smartphone to uh, view the internet, you'll definitely appreciate websites that are mobile friendly now versus ones that are not. Um, also, um, so well, and actually there's still a lot of people who don't have mobile friendly websites. If you don't, that's definitely something that you have to fix because that was three years ago that that happened. Um, and more than half of the users that are going online and doing searches on Google are on mobile devices. They're not actually on a, a desktop computer. And the, the, where these issues are happening is in the Chrome browser. And when I look at website stats uh, for most uh, websites now, uh, Google Analytics and different tools like that, I'm actually seeing that at least 50% or more of the, uh, you know, because in the stats you can actually see what browsers the users are using. And I'm seeing over 50% of people are using the Google browser. So you might think, ah, I don't use Google. Why, what does it matter to me? Well, um, actually it matters a lot because if you've got a business website, then more than half of the people out there are using a Google browser to view your website. So if you don't have an SSL certificate and now that Google browser starts showing, hey, this site is not secure, that could be an issue for you because people are going to panic and think, oh no, I need to leave this website. I might get a virus or something. So it is a big deal. Um, and also most, of, <clears throat> excuse me, most of the other browsers are following suit here. Um, Firefox has kind of been doing a lot of the same thing that, that Google's doing. Um, and I even not, well, um, yeah, Internet, Internet uh, Edge, the Internet Edge, uh, Microsoft Edge browser is starting to show uh, some warnings on their, their uh, browsers too. Um, so it's basically everybody's going to be doing this. Google's just kind of leading the charge. Um, so you definitely want to do this. So, um, you know, since in, since Google's been kind of making this, this is a wave that they've been making for a while now, we've been recommending to our customers that if they don't have SSL certificates that they get one. We've been doing that for a while now. Um, and so let's, let's take a look at what exactly we're talking about by these warnings, because you're probably thinking, hey, I don't have an SSL certificate and my site works fine in Google. Yeah, that's that's true and it still will work in Google, but you're going to see some warning signs that'll display. Now I've got a, uh, this is just a screenshot. I can line it up here for you. Um, what the current warning, so to speak, looks like here. There we go. Um, currently, it just shows this little um, this little icon here in the browser, and if you click on that, then it'll drop down and say, "Warning: This site um, isn't secure." Well, now what they're going to do is, when you after July 2018 of this year, you'll not just see this little icon, but you'll also see next to it "Not Secure," so that it'll be displayed right there. Um, so, you know, again, your site's going to work, but 
it's going to display this this warning and probably over time Google will make further changes that will further um, create some issues and things that you have to update and adjust if your site is not secure. So go ahead and get this done if you don't have it now. So how do you actually tell if your website is secure or not right now? Say you might not know if your site is using an SSL certificate or not. It's pretty easy to do uh, if you just go to any browser. Um, type in your website address, but start it off with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then www, whatever your website address is. If that website address redirects, all of a sudden it changes in the address bar to show HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash, then your domain name then you've got a, an SSL certificate on your website. If it doesn't redirect to HTTPS, then it's not secure. And here's an example of what it'll look like. This is just a random site that I pulled off the internet. Um, if you've got an SSL certificate, see in the top there, it's showing secure HTTPS forward slash forward slash, then whatever the, the uh, URL is. So that's how you can tell. Now you might say, <clears throat> excuse me, you might say, hey, I've got an SSL certificate because I've got an e-commerce website. So I'm selling stuff online. I already have an SSL certificate. This doesn't apply to me. Well, actually it might because even though you've got an SSL certificate on your website, you may only have it on your checkout pages. And if that's the case, then the rest of your site is going to show this warning message. Um, and so the, usually the best way to find out if you've gotten, if you don't, uh, let me rephrase that, best way to find out if your whole site is not secure, even though you do have an SSL certificate, is to go to one of your non-checkout pages, usually the home page or an about us page or something like that on your website. Um, go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash um, and see if it redirects to um, that HTTPS. Um, if it doesn't, then that page is not a secure website. Or you could just go to the page, and and if you don't see HTTPS um, at the beginning of the domain name, then you know you, you that particular page is not secure. It's a pretty easy fix. So if you already got an SSL certificate, that's great. It's an easy fix to do. It's just making all of the pages on your website secure instead of just the checkout pages. So it's an easy fix if you've got an e-commerce website and you already have an SSL. It's just making sure your whole website is being secured by that SSL. Now, if you don't have an SSL, there's also good news because it's a pretty easy fix to, uh, to do that as well. It's just a process of acquiring an SSL, having your developer uh, install that for you. Um, we, we, um, what we offer uh, for our customers is we typically use a DigiCert SSL certificate. It's a higher end SSL certificate. Uh, we purchase it on the customer's behalf. We install it on their website, take care of everything for them. Um, but if you're looking for a, a different alternative, because there's a wide variety of SSLs out there, if you're shopping around, you'll see some that are free. You'll see some that are low cost. Um, but, of course, you sometimes get what you pay for. You typically get what you pay for. So if you're using a free SSL for your business website, would not recommend that. Um, if, you're, you know, if you've got a blog website where you're blogging about your cats, it's probably okay to use a free SSL, but I wouldn't use one for a business website. Um, with the uh, DigiCert SSL that we use, we use that one because it's got um, a higher level of validation. It's better suited for business-oriented websites. Um, you also don't have to renew it as frequently. A lot of the free and cheap SSLs, you have to renew um, every few months or so. It's a little bit more of a hassle. Um, also, the DigiCert SSL, it's going to offer support and warranties where a lot of the cheaper ones aren't going to be able to, to offer that. So, um, yes, there are options for SSLs, a lot of options out there. But don't just run out and grab the first cheap one you see if you've got a business website. Make sure that it's going to be up to the task for what you need it to be. If you need any assistance on SSLs, got any, got any questions or anything on it, give us a call here at NetSource. Uh, you can reach us at 1-800-709-3240. And again, I'm Brent with NetSource, a website consultant here. And thank you for watching. God bless you.